Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Typography Content. That is this section right here on the other side of the page. We just coded up this stuff, now we're going to code this stuff. This is going to be really easy, it's just text and a little special section right here called List Group. It's a new Bootstrap 3 feature uh, component where you can add list groups. It's really cool. So let's dive right in. Open your HTML. Okay, and scroll down to the section that, uh, the closing div that is end call small six because we're gonna add another column, uh, small call six column section because this is six columns. This is also six columns. So because we're still in the more info div, we need to add the other six columns, which is this section. So let's open up a div, give it the class of call-small-6, and let's give it an end comment so we know where it is. And let's start by adding a level three heading and say some text info. And this is just an example. We're gonna use some lorem ipsum, just a paragraph tag with some lorem ipsum. Below that, we're gonna add a level four heading, a list group. This is cool. This is a brand new thing in Bootstrap 3. It's called list group. I'm gonna show you that. Under components and list group, it's uh, just like a cool way of displaying a list. Rather than just having kind of a normal displayed list, this is kind of a really cool way of showing lists. You can do cool things with badges. You can have them be links. Kind of looks like an iPhone app in a way. Or you can have custom content like a list group which is a link with kind of neat custom content within it. So you click the whole section. So we're gonna be actually adding the custom content list group. And uh, let's go back to our HTML and I'll show you how to add that. It's very easy. Div, close that div. Give that div the class of list-group. That's gonna allow you to access all the features that list group uh, has and list group save all right a tag href just pound sign we're not going to link anywhere yet close that a tag so we remember class list group item this is how you initiate a list group item within that we're going to add a level 4 heading and we're going to give that level 4 heading the class of list dash group dash item dash heading that's a mouthful and we're just going to say kale. I'm just going to list a bunch of vegetables. And p, paragraph tag. Give it the class of list, whoops, list-group-item-text. Another mouthful. And I have queued up in my clipboard just a little bit of text about kale. You could just write lorem ipsum in there or you can write out this uh, this info about kale or you could put your own info. You could put your name and then some info about you and then you could put whatever, it doesn't matter. You can use your imagination with list group, it's awesome. All right, the cool part about this is you already added a list group, they're all identical except for the content. So copy the list group item, a tag, and paste it a couple more times. And change the content, you just have to change the content. So I'm gonna say carrots. And I have some more text queued up. There's about carrots and steel cut oats. Not really a vegetable, but uh, good enough. It's healthy. All right, and save that. We added the list group. Let's check it out. Save and go back to your website. Refresh. Here we go already. Awesome, so we have the text info, the lorem ipsum paragraph text, the list group, and the list group items. Look at that, they're all links too, so you can click on it and open up a new page about kale if you wanted. We don't actually have it yet, but if you wanted, you can have this link to a new page on your website that uh, displays some info. It could be if you're offering services or products and you can click on it to open up the product info. Maybe you wanna get even more creative and click on it and open up a modal window that tells you about this specific list item. It's pretty neat. You can go wild with this Twitter bootstrap thing. All right, but below that, we're just gonna add one more quick thing and then we're done with this lecture. And under list group, just add a level five heading 
a small heading and just some more lorem ipsum text or whatever you want to write save that let's check it out refresh and there it is a small heading you can see the, the the headings are changing in size because bootstrap already has some default styles and that should be it so let's just check here's the finished site there's our site looks perfect good job guys see you in the next one